So Steph and I are just getting here to the gym and it's a miserable rainy day here in Tampa, Florida. Um, but I wanted to pose four questions to you guys that explore a little bit deeper some of the topics that I discussed in my Shoulder Science Explained video. And these are just four questions that sort of came up in my mind as I was making the video. So the first question is, so if the shoulder press is a frontal plane movement, meaning when the dumbbells go up and down, they're going through their range of motion in that plane that separates the body into a front half and a back half. So the question is, why doesn't that target the lateral deltoid more than the front deltoid, like a lateral raise would, which also operates in the frontal plane? Question number two, sort of related, if the front raise is training pure shoulder flexion and the role of the front delt is to perform shoulder flexion, why is the front raise less effective than a shoulder press at activating the front delt? And for the sake of the question, let's just assume that there's relative loading. So you couldn't say that the answer is that you can just go heavier with the shoulder press. Question number three, something that I didn't bring up in the Science Explained video was grip width. So what do you think? Does a wider grip lead to greater delt activation or does a narrow grip activate the delts better? Finally, number four, like I said in the Science Explained video, Schoenfeld and colleagues found that a neutral or palms facing one another grip was better at activating the rear delts than a palms down or pronated grip in the reverse pec deck. And this was surprising to me because biomechanically speaking, external rotation of the shoulder should put the lateral delt in a better position to contract through horizontal abduction. Uh, so what do you guys think is going on there? Why did the EMG data find the opposite result to that which biomechanics would predict? So with these four questions, I really want to hear your guys' solutions to them. So please think about them and leave your responses in the comments below. Simply just number them one, two, three, four, so we know what question you're answering. And I'll post all the answers here in a new video at the same time next Wednesday. Uh, so show me how smart all of you guys are. Uh, let me hear your answers. I will read through all of them and I will post the correct answers next Wednesday. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.